Hello friends, in this video we will see how to run our first Android app in Android Studio. Now what is Android? Android is a mobile operating system which is based on Linux kernel designed for touchscreen devices like smartphone and tablets. Android is owned by Google and it is the most popular operating system. For running an Android app you first have to create it on Android Studio. Android Studio is an IDE. IDE means Integrated Development Environment through which you can easily create an Android app if you are a programmer. After creating your Android app, you just have to create an APK and upload it on the Google Play Store so that everyone can access and install your app. So now we will see after installing your Android Studio how you can create your first app. So let's work upon it. Open your Android Studio just like I have opened it here. Go to File. Click on New. Here you can see different options are available. Right now we want to create a new project. So we will click on new project. On clicking new project, a dialog box will open where you can configure your new project. Here I'll add the new project name. You can add any name like I'll click Amit application, Amit application demo. Here is your company domain. You can change it. Remember the package name always. This is a project location. You can all obviously change it. I've kept it to desktop. You can keep it to the Android project folder. Now click next. Here you can see next consists of the target Android devices. You can see you can select it for phone and tablet, wear device, which can be a watch, TV, Android TV, Android Auto. So right now I'm keeping the settings default. Since it is mentioned that by targeting API 16, which is which is Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, your app will will probably run on approximately 95.2% devices. Here you can check it. Here you can see 4.1 right now or 4.0. You can be visible on more than 95.2% devices, which would be compatible. Here you can also learn more about different things under Jelly Bean. Click OK and now just you can select other options also but right now we will keep it, keep it as default and click on next. Here you can see different activities are, activities are available for mobile. So let's say if you want to create a Google map app like an app like Google map you can select this if you want to straight away create a login application click on this and in the same way you can select different options right now I will be creating a demo app a simple app the demo app which is by default visible so I will be selecting empty activity there is a difference between blank activity and empty activity which I have discussed in one of my videos before here I am mentioning the link so you can just click on it and learn so I'll be selecting empty activity and click next. After clicking next, you can see our activity name is visible. Keep it as default only and the layout name which is related to an activity. Always remember every activity is related to a layout. Layout would be the design which you can see on any app and main activity will generally consist of its code. So it will be by default in Java like main activity or Java. I'll tell you later. Here you can see we have uh, included the name of the layout which is default. You can obviously change it. After doing the changes, click on finish. That's it. Now just wait for the components to load. Here our project will get created. Here you can see it is building the project. Here you can see the directory structure will be visible. At the bottom you can see that the tasks are that executing task option is visible that is just have to wait for some seconds okay that's it we have created our first android application amit application demo so it is loading right now as you can see here gradle build running so just wait so here you can see the gradle build has been finished it means that our project is now loaded correctly successfully 
So here you can see two files are generated by default, which is main activity dot Java, which I have mentioned before, and the next one is activity underscore main, which would be the design. Here you can see the design. So now we will run the project. Go to run and click on run app. Before clicking, you have to create an Android virtual device from Android virtual device manager which I have discussed in another video so I'm linking it here you can check it out there that how can you can create an Android virtual device and run your app in more than one device without having it physically so I've already created an AVD so I'll just click on run now run app and you can see it is asking me for the Android virtual device in the in one of the videos I created Nexus AVD device right now I'll be keeping it at default which I have created which I created before on coder and I'll just click on OK. So now my demo Android app will run on the default will run on the Android virtual device which is our emulator. Here you can see it is running. So now you can see our emulator is visible it is the home screen now to straight away go to the app click on run click on run app again and here you can see our emulator is live now just click on ok now you can see your demo application is running on our emulator so in this video we saw how to start running our first Android app on Android Studio. We also saw that what is Android and Android Studio and how we can create a an activity in Android to start running the default Android app application. You can do some changes here like you can add a button here from this section or you can code it also. You can also add the code in Java in the Java file Java code should be here and the XML code should be here this XML code is like uh, like the UI of your application through which you can also drag and drop from here or you can write the code here these are the basic settings which we will learn in other videos so in this video we saw how to run our first Android app on Android studio thank you for watching